I guess very strange. I remember reading 98% for sure, 99, 98 to 99, that non Hodgkin's lymphoma is easier to treat than Hodgkin's. Fun fact I talked to a doctor 10 days back and he was like, Hodgkin's is easier to treat than non Hodgkin's. Uh, you know, I think I asked him or something, I don't know, I don't know who asked what, but the information was from my end, from his end, Hodgkin's lymphoma. And wouldn't you know it? I checked the internet. You know, this is why uh, I think you know, uh, uh, conventional treatment and psychiatry should be very uh, restricted uh, from the psychiatrist side uh, because schizophrenics could play a role in society by creating paranoia in a society that is calm as Hindu crowds accepting whatever crap that is given. A few schizophrenics cause people to think, uh, and you know. It won't be a completely following society, you know, just follow the sheep society. That's why schizophrenics play a role by saying that government is watching on you, people think on a, at least on a generalized manner that government should be kept, you know, under control as well. So in a democracy it works out. Only problem is if you have forced democracy into the country too fast or something without looking into the mental health hack initially put by the British but improved on 2018, how exactly I don't know because it's still 70 years, you would have to hire uh, the best mental health system provider country, which I think is Finland, uh, to help. And this is a help thing, this kind of common opinion cannot deny it. So, if Finland is actually showing it, which I am doubting they are getting it done with, uh, maybe I don't know. Yeah, actually, you can only go so much uh, artificial before it's back there. Uh, artificial being mutants, I know that kind of thing. I don't know. So I made this video to talk about that, how um, the system is maybe manipulated on my window, which is just it's a bit more than 12, 10, 12 inches. I think it's, I don't know how much inch, uh, what is the centimeter? I forgot how you measure the smartphone. It's, yeah, it looks like it's 30 centimeters diagonally. So that's the unit I'm carrying. So it's a bit difficult to travel, but I still I still would digress uh, and uh, uh, say that uh, I still prefer this because of multiple reasons. Uh, least of which is that this thing is face sized, so it's more human. In some sort of form. Okay, now I finish the lymphoma part. Uh, I'm pretty sure they changed the Google search. I have maybe a limited database also. They being, you know, observers. Uh, and I'm hoping, I'm guessing they are psychiatrists because uh, who else is, you know, uh, except who, is, who has hired them, I'm not sure. Uh, but some psychology, some psychiatry. But I am also guessing if you did business, uh, low class business for 30 years straight, you would have the feel of. Let's say a second year Canadian engineering uh, guy trapped in India, uh, the only uh, Canadian to do this, by the way. I mean, Canadian uh, resident uh, who chose to stay in India uh, non willfully, semi willfully. Uh, I, I don't know how to say that, but I am, I may be able to get into the Guinness World Record. You know Canadian ah and I also found out the reason why Canadians are so nice to us is because diarrhea the answer is diarrhea like dysentery and diarrhea and you're so unclean that everyone gets food poisoning from traveling that they how they can lose uh, keep it in somehow before getting the plane home it is oh, I don't know. yeah anyways okay now I'm beginning to think some of this is my ability able to connect things uh, without going crazy so yeah, that's what the Canadians one month seeing India backpacking to India Max. No one does it for 15 years straight. No sane Canadian. So it's like, ah, oh, your food is so good. They're actually trying to keep in the shit from flowing. You don't want a scene. They're being nice, I guess. In my opinion, if you are having dysentery, you may not want to keep it in. You may want to. If you let loose, India is quite accepting. And. And you know, if you go, you go, you have to go. 
but still yeah i guess you can control the spinster just five minutes of smiling and thanking before going to the water toilet you can get of course you'll get upper respiratory infection most probably but there's there's good drugs for that no yeah so it's not the viral ones but still so that's what it is smiling at least you know upper respiratory tract infection is less humiliating than let's say a certain dull colored little toying in the streets and we could actually use this as a marketing tool where the streets are flowing with dial color it's not exactly gold but uh, yeah it's kind of goldish color it is the streets are paved with gold just of a different kind <laughs> You know, it's a bit more smelly than uh, you know, gold, the metal. But still, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come on, I was supposed to do a new one for you all. Just think that you only got a free sample, and I'm supposed to pay FBA. And I did this in English. I'm supposed to pay FBA of over one million dollars. Still, still, close two hundred million. I mean, ten million dollars. I don't want to be seen as grandiose. I don't want the woman folk to be all. Hot and bothered. <laughs> okay.